here with the alchemist. What's up, bro? Rob Acosta. What's good, Rob? Really? What's up, baby? Uh, Fight week. How y'all feeling? Feel good, man. Um, smooth, smooth operating. Man. Smooth operating. Good king. I'm very proud of uh, how everything turned out. All right, so your job basically done? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We, we got done last week. All right, so now it's just this weight monitoring. Mm -hmm. And just, he looked, yo, he looked like he was already on weight. He when looks I good. Him. He looks good. He definitely looks good. All right, what, what makes for a good camp? Like a, um, how do you get the, getting him strength, but also with a proper cut? Is it an art to it? No, it's a lot of it's dieting, uh, knowing how much to take off, you know, without draining yourself. Um, you definitely don't want to drain, and you don't want to lose an excessive amount of weight in a very short period of time, because then, you know, you, you might it might not be all healthy. You know what I mean? So you want to stay focused and do it the proper way but a lot of people would tend to get into it and they start starving themselves and, and that's not the right way to go i saw shakur stevenson was 147 pounds five days yeah, before that's the fight a, I, that's a, I, I don't know if that's accurate but i could have sworn that the commentators were talking about that i don't know if that's i, I could have sworn i heard that but then it, again it I was wasn't just athlete. it wasn't just you i've seen it other places oh that, that they said about it was 147 pounds that's crazy five days before the fight that's crazy now, what are what are some of the, the minuses that come with a cut that fast? Um, well, depending on how severe, oh yeah, depending on how severe the cuts are. Well, not severe, but depending how how much of a dramatic drop. Like, are we talking 17 pounds and it's all water weight? Or are we talking 17 pounds? You still overweight and you know what I mean? You got to get down. So. It, a lot of people do have, a lot of fighters, a lot of combative athletes, they, they, they drink a lot of water. So a lot of the stuff is water weight. Mm. Um, thank goodness that was the case, hopefully for him. Because even in the later rounds, he looked fantastic. So maybe it was just a water weight. What is your expectation for Boots and this Thomas DeLorme fight? What is my expectation? Yeah. Boots normally do. Line them up and get them out of there. Come on, man. I need some shit talking, Rob. I need I say, some shit talking, Rob. I say... I say between four and five. Four and five. I don't... Uh, he, 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 he not coming to play. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He gonna, he gonna do his thing. So I'm gonna say... I'm predicting... I'm predicting on stoppage or knockout. Can anyone handle his work rate at 147 pounds? In the division? Yeah. Work rate? Yeah, it's, it just seemed like... In the he, ring or side or both? Let's just say in the ring. It seemed like when he wanted to pour it on, lip and it's, yeah. it just, it was just like a... Uh, I don't know, man. It's going to be hard to say because he's so explosive. Like, he throws fast combinations and they, they, they really got pop on them. So... He throws him, and it, it, it's that speed is incredible, man. And it's like he's sitting down with a lot of great shots. So I don't know if people can take that numerous times and get caught with several combinations and, and, and be all right with it. I, I don't know. I know I would have been. <laughs> you know what I mean? But I respect Delorme, though. I respect Delorme because he was supposed to fight Boots. And then, of course, you know, he got COVID, which I'm glad he recovered well from it. And then Boots had a replacement fight, which, you know, that ended in a no contest. But then right after, he fought Lippin' mm. So he saw what Boots can do for two different types of fighters, even though the first fight didn't show much. It didn't really show anything. But he still said, I'll take it. You know what I mean? So I give a lot of respect and props to him. Much, much, much respect. Um, with that being said... It is what it is. <laughs> it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? But I do respect this camp. I'm glad he recovered. Um, October 30th, man. It's, it's going to be a show to watch. Last question, Rob. Yeah. Are we looking at the welterweight Roy Jones? Um, 
he has a lot of qualities and similarities to her. But he has a lot of similarities to a lot of great fighters too. But uh, he's just one of those guys, man. You, you're gonna see like, you'll be able in five, 10 years from now, kids that train here will say, oh, I was able to watch him box. I was able to watch him train. You know what I mean? It's gonna be such a, a great memory and great experience for these kids, man. A lot of kids look up to them. You know, they look up to the whole family. So, um, a good mixture of a lot of great fighters, but Boots is Boots, man. He's just special. He's special all the way around. All the way around. So, you know, he's just gonna go in there and do his damn thing. Take over the 147. Thanks, Rob. I appreciate it.